Hello everyone, welcome to Java tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover two topics. One is how to take user input and second one is Java while loop. So first thing, how to take user input. So in Java, we have this uh, scanner class. With the help of this scanner class, we can read any integer, any character or a string from the user. Suppose we want to take a input from the user which is a integer value and for that we have this scanner class we will create first the object of scanner class with the help of its constructor passing the system dot in to the parameters and after that we can take the input from the user and then we can store that input in in some variables and second topic is java while loop so in, in our previous tutorial we have already covered the topic for loop in for loop we have three things one is initialization another is condition and increment or decrement but in this while loop we have single condition if that condition is true it will execute the line of code inside the parenthesis or this curly braces unless this condition is false this code code will execute and when this condition is false it will terminate the loop so let's see this with the help of an example what we will do we will create a class right click new and class we will take the name as while loop example this is the name of my class public static word mean yes now we have this class so first we will cover the topic how to take user input and display that input on the console so as i told you that we have scanner class scanner We have this scanner class. Hmm. Scanner, and we will pass system dot into this scanner class we will import the scanner class yes so we have this scanner class and once this object of this class is created we will ask the user to enter any number system dot out dot print ln and we will ask the user please enter any number And we will store that number in a variable int a is equal to scanner dot has int and whatever value the user will enter that value will be stored in the a and after that we can display that value with the help of system dot out dot print n. A is equal to A. We have this A. Let's run this program and see the output. Ten. A is equal to ten. As you can see that. let's run it again it is asking for the number so i have entered 100 a is equal to 100 so whatever input the user will give that will be stored on the console 
now suppose now we will we will do the example of the while loop so how to how to use this number in a while loop what we will do we will ask the user to enter any number and after that we will print all the integer numbers in between one and that number so we have that uh, that particular number inside a so what how we will use what is the syntax for the while loop while parenthesis and curly braces inside this while loop we will pass we can pass or int i is equal to one i have i have another variable i whose value is one so while i is less than equal to a this is my condition system dot out dot print ln i we are displaying i unless it is less than equal to a and we are incrementing this value of i i plus plus now let's see the output We have saved the program and please enter any number i have entered number 10 so it should display the all the number in between 1 and 10 so as you can see that a is equal to 10 and it has display all the number in between a and 1 and 10 so let's run it again suppose it's 100 as you can see that it has displayed all the numbers in between 1 and 100 so how how it is working exactly let's go through from the starting of the program in the starting first statement is package so this class name of my class is while loop example it's a public class and it this class is inside my package and second thing is we have import one more class that is scanner class this class we will use for the input purpose and after that this is my main class which is a public class and inside this main class i have a method public static void main method from where the program will execute and first thing which i have done is i have created object of scanner and this object of scanner is used to uh, take the input from the user so it will ask the user to enter a number and that number will be stored in the integer a and after that we have displayed that number a is equal to a then i have another variable i is equal to one and this is my while loop this is syntax for the while loop while is the keyword and parenthesis inside this parenthesis we will pass some condition and it will execute this loop unless this condition is false and here we have put the condition i is less than equal to a so in initially value of i is 1 and value of a is suppose 10 so 1 is less than 10 which is true so it will execute the code inside this loop system dot out dot print ln i i it will display 1 on the console then i plus plus it increment the value of i to 2 then it again check if 2 is less than 10 if that is true it will display the 2 then again when its value value incremented to 11 10 10 is less than equal to 10 that is true so it will display the 10 when it became 11 11 is not less than equal to uh, 10 so that is false so it will came out of the loop so this is how this while loop will work and what we can do we can use a break statement in order to break the loop suppose if i is equal to equal to 5 then break the loop this is my mo one more condition that when the value of i reaches to 5 please break the loop and how to let's see how it will work i have entered value 10 
as you can see that when the value of i become 5 it is not displaying the number on the console if we we can use continue keyword here so even if the value of same is the case with the continue if we a is equal to 10 when a is equal to equal to 5 this continue will break the loop we have break so with the help of this break when we enter the value 10 when it reaches the value i is equal to 5 it will break the loop loop, loop. so today we have covered two topic one is how to take use user input and, and how to display that on console and how to execute the while loop.